So yesterday was a bit of a challenging day. The keys to the uh, equipment room were lost for a while. Made it out to the field and couldn't find any frogs for the first hour. Got kicked out of our field site by another crew. Walked on a six kilometer hike and saw no frogs. It rained on us for about an hour and a half. There were times where, uh, you know, I thought my boots were gonna get stuck in the mud and weren't gonna come out. There are, you know, leaf cutter ants or army ants surrounding you. Our recorder broke. Um, our temperature and humidity uh, uh, gauge broke. Um, we lost one of our nets, and so it was a, a challenging day. Yeah, that's field work, you know, you just push through it. That's kind of, uh, it sounds crazy, but that's kind of the joy of all of it, is that like, you do it because you want to be outside and you recognize that it's not always going to be easy. The frog that I study is uh, Oafaga pumilio. It's a pretty neat frog. The frog is unlike any other frog. Um, it's red and it's toxic. And so it is essentially a little ball of red toxin that says don't eat me. All right, let's go. So the experiment was we went out in the field and we wanted to see how sounds that people make influence frog calling behavior. You went into like spy mode where you're creeped up to the frog because you didn't want the frog to know that you were there. Once you got up to the frog, you sat down as quietly as possible and then just hoped that the frog would keep calling. And sometimes it would, but those little suckers, once they hopped around and they saw you, you would get like a locked on eye contact with the frog. And sometimes they would just be like, no, I'm not gonna call now. Today was great. We collected a lot of data. Today we found um, a location where the frogs were calling, lots of males looking for females. And I think the students had a really good time. Um, I certainly had a good time and it seems like they had a great time as well. We carried a research project all the way from the idea through to the data collection and then the exciting part of, of answering the, the question that we set out. Going through all of those stages I think is a, a great uh, thing for the students. We all had this moment where we took it all in and we're like, we're here, we're having a good time, and we learned something too, so it, it was a good experience. The entire project was great. We learned a lot about the frog, uh, how males respond to uh, different noises, and, and sort of telling a cool story, and this is really how science works.